Okay, welcome to senior boot camp. We're gonna warm up. I want a big inhale up. And exhale. Again, big inhale up. And squat and up. Squat and up. Warming up those legs. Good. Couple more. Good, keep it going. That's it. All right, arms down, just knee. And change it to a kick. That's it. And take it all the way down. Good job, another inhale and exhale. All right, let's get ready to start the class. All right. All right, switch your music. Okay, let's march in place. Our bodies should be warmed up. This is an interval class, so we'll do lots of exercises. One right after the other. If at any time you don't like the exercise, come to a march. If you feel like your heart rate's too high or you need water, you just stop and get it. Come right back to the class. We'll still go. You come in when you need to. Good. I want you to pump the arms a little bit more. Good. We want that breathing to be a little bit more labored. That's it. Good, keep going. Great, a little bit longer. Okay, let's do a wide march. So wide, wide. Warming up those hips. Now back in. Good. Let's do it again. Back wide. And in. It's a little quicker. And wide. And in. This time it's one out, one in. Out, in. Out, in. Good. Watch these arms. Out, in. Out, in. Strong arms, good. Straight, bent, good. 
looking good today. Yes. 12 more. Here we go. That's it. 10. Good. Eight more. Nice. Four. Three. Two. And regular march. Right behind your bench. Toe taps. Here. Here. Now, if you don't have a bench at home, you can do it on the floor. Or if you have a little step stool, that'll work. All right, we're going to swing the arms halfway. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Yes. All right, y'all, let's get the arms a little bit higher. Up, up. Up. Good. Reach. Reach. Now I want you to bring them back halfway. Still pointing the toes. Now back higher. Hup. Hup. That's it. We're doing eight each. Back higher. That's it. Heart rate should be a little bit more up there. Halfway. Good. Now all the way. Good. We have one more round. This is it. Good. And give me a little march. Behind your chair. Now, leg out to the side. Again, you're lifting, not kicking. It doesn't have to be real high. Four more. Working the hips. Good. Switch it. Lift. Lift. Good. Hands on the chair for balance. You should not be leaning on your chair. Hopefully at home you have a little bit higher one. Switch again. Right. Lift. Good. And now switch again. This time four each. Good. Lift. Let's switch again. Four again. Yes. Lift. You should feel it on both legs. Switch. Therefore, if you can choose a standing or sitting exercise, go with the standing. Switch. This time two. Switch. 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 This time, one each. Right, left. Right, left. Good. Four, three, two. Let's let those legs rest. Good job. Grab a weight. Anything you have at home can even be a bottle of water or a soup can if you don't have a weight at home. Elbow back, tricep presses. You push back. My back is straight. I'm not swinging the arm, pushing it back. It should look like this. Good. Five more, that'll make around 15. 
one more. And good. Since our back was kind of leaned over, if you want to stand up and stretch it out a little bit, switch weights. And ready? Here we go. No rush with these. Nice and slow. Control of the movement. Take a few. And one more. Good job. Stretch it out. Still triceps. This time the arm is up. All right. And we're going to bend it behind you. It's here. Good. 15. Three. Yes. Halfway there, arm comes fully straight, kind of near that ear if you can. Good. One more. Yes, good. Switch. All right, ready? Here we go. Then we're going to come back to that bench. Two. Three. Arm in here is optional, you don't have to. It's a reminder to keep the elbow up. Six, seven, eight, nine, five more. Good, two more. Push through it, and you're done with those. Great job, weights down, come to your bench. March in front of your bench or your stool or just on the ground. Just like the toe taps, we're going to do a heel, heel this time. So you pull the toes up. That will work your calf muscles. Alright? Different arms. It's like a push-up. Yes. Good job. Keep going. That's it. Strong arms. Good. Now we're going to take it to the side. Watch. Side. Side. My legs are wide. Good. Now bring it in again. In. Yes. Eight times each. Now, why? That's it. Back in. Good job. And why? Yes. Back in. Two more rounds. Good. Nice deep breath. And wide. Last round, bring it in. Yes. And last time wide. Great job. March in place. Right here. Let's do some knee lifts. All right. Hands on hips to begin with. It's up. It's up. It's up. Good. Now here's your arm. We're going to be pushing above the head. That will really get that heart rate up. Hup. And up. Let's change the arms. Watch this. Push. 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 Yes. Now arms up, alternating them, arms down, try 
biceps. Yes. Strong. Now arms up. Woo. Now arms down. It's a little quicker. Arms up. Arms down. Arms up. Woo. Arms down. Last time, arms up. Up. And last time, down. Now, march in place. Good job. I'd like for you to grab your weights again. This time, we add a little march. Little march. Heart rate stays up. Good job. Now, under hand grip, up and down. Up and down. Good. Up and up. Any speed that you like. Up and down. Up. Good. Yes. Now, if you don't like the march, you can just stand still during this part or sit down. Great. Now hold your arms down and march. This time, palms in, thumbs are up. Hammer grip, up and down. Yes, good. Nice. Eight more. Eight. Nine. Good. Five more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. One more. Yes. Great job. Put your uh, weights down. All right, one leg behind you, back, together, back, together, Woo. All right, work in the lower back, doesn't need to come up real high. Now switch to the left. Yes, but do try and keep your legs straight. I'm also not leaning over too much, it's a little movement. Now switch. Good. One more round, and then we're going to add some arms. Four more. Yes. Good. Switch. Finish this round. You got it. Four. Six. Seven, and just a tiny break. All right, other leg, but now other arm. It lifts up and lower, a little bit slower. Here we go. One, two, three, where are we going to? Let's do, how about 12, five, six. Really reach it up. This is a good posture exercise. It hits pretty much every major muscle group. Give me two more. Even work in the leg you're standing on. That's 12, good. All right, shake it out. Other side, here we go. One, lift up, lift up, good. Four, arching that back a little, making that C shape with the spine. Two more. And great. We're going to come right to the bench again. All right. It's going to be a tap up, a tap down. You're going to put your right foot on the step. Tap up, tap down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Four more. 
Then we're gonna add some arms. Three, two, we're gonna do a little shoot the basket. Ready, here we go. Hup. And lift, lift. You can also do these on the ground. Good, bring it up. That's it. And lift, lift. The arms are getting tired. You can bring the arms down. Lift. Four more. Three. Two. Woo, march it out. Good. Other foot on. Left foot. Tap up, tap down only. Up. Up. Work in the leg mainly if that's on the bench. Yes. Good. All right, we're going to add the same arms because they're good ones. Shoot the basket. Hup. 20 of them. Lift. Lift. That's it. 12 more. Go. Reach. Reach. Good. Eight more. Up. Four more. Three. Two. March it down. Great job. You're going to grab your band. If you do not have a band at home, you can simply go through the arm motions with adding just your body's resistance. Still a good workout. If you have a band, grab it halfway. Hold it above your head. Should never be loose in the middle, tight. Pull it down to your chest and up. All right, 10 of these, then we'll add some legs. That's two, that's three. Now we're working biceps and back. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades as I pull down. Good, and that's how I work back. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, tiny little rest for those arms. One more set of 10, uh, what do we do, 10 or 12, 10. We're gonna add a squat, okay? Let's do it again, but as we pull, we'll squat down. So, squat and up. Again, two, three. Only squat down as much as you want. Remember, we're going to 10, this is six. Seven, eight, nine, oh yes, ten, relax, band comes down, band comes down, back to your bench, back to your bench, up, up, down, down, slow, up, up, good, right, left, Slow again. Slow again. <laughs> Keep slow. One more slow. Now we're gonna speed it up to your speed. Up and down. This is where you can get fun with your arms. You can go up. You can go up. You could go side. You could drill those arms. You could punch them up. Anything you want. Just keep moving. If you're on the ground, I would step forward and step back. Good, so then you're working those muscles in the back of your legs. Two more sets of eight. 
Yeah. Last set of eight. Good. Four more. Three. Two. March on the ground. Yes. Good. Little breather. Little breather. Okay, I'm going to switch leads. Now I'm on the other side. For me, it's a left, right. Left, right. Slow first. Here we go. Left, right, left, right. Good. And now, here we go, y'all. Speed it up. Let's go. Any speed that you like. Great. Change the arms up if you want. Keep going. Two more sets of eight. Up and down. Or forward and back if you're on the ground. Yes. Last set of eight. Eight. Four. Three. Two. One. March it down. Great. Let's grab your weights. Okay. To the side. Up. Halfway. My palms are down. That means I don't want them really high. It will impinge on that shoulder joint. Seven. Good. Eight. Five more. These are singles. We're getting ready to do some doubles. Unless you just want to stay at singles. And maybe one more. Get us evened out. Little rest. Okay, now both arms. Ready? This doesn't agree with your shoulders. Go back to the singles. Just 10 of them. Or if it's getting hard, you can bend the elbows. That helps. Decreases the range of motion. And that's 10. Good. Hold them in your hands. We're going to do some lunges. All right. One foot on the bench. I'm going to put my right foot on the bench. My left one steps further out. I got added weight. Down and up. Down and up. Straight down, not forward. Three, four, five, six. How about 15, seven? Oh, we're already halfway there. Nine, 10. What leg muscles are we getting? Every last one of them in a lunge. That's why they're good. And one more. Oh, yes. Shake it out. Shake it out. Other foot on. I have my left foot on. My right foot back. Hands just hang with the weights. Ready? Down and up. Let's go. Straight down. If your knees don't like it, maybe you do a tiny one. If the knees don't like those, then just eliminate this exercise altogether. Five more. Twelve. 
13, 14, and 15. Good, let's put our weights down. Great time for water break. We're gonna march in place. If you don't need water, you're gonna march with me. When you're finished getting water, you'll join me in a march. Please know to get water anytime throughout the workout. That's it. We're gonna go right into some kicks. Kicks, all right? Make sure you don't kick your bench or your weights, whatever you have on the floor. It's here, here, here. Good. Now what I'd like to do is an opposite punch. Arms are opposite of the leg, right? Punch, punch. Yes. We're gonna increase the number of the kicks. Keep going. When I call out double, that means two kicks on each side. Yes. Ready, double. So you do a two and a two, got it? Two, two. It's too confusing with the arms, you will just do the legs. Now let's do it four. One, two, three, four, switch. Switch. And switch. Switch. And switch. Good job again. Can we bump it up another notch? Let's try it. Ready? Give me eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now switch. Eight again. Woo! We're in this there. And switch. This is it. Now march. Good. Grab your band. If you don't have a band, a weight will do. Okay, you're gonna step on your band. You can do one foot to make it easier or two feet to make it harder. Okay, the arms are biceps, but they're going only halfway. Then they fall down. Pulse and down. A little bit quicker than you're used to. Another set of 15, but now they're gonna come halfway down, pull all the way up. Ready, begin. One, up, two, up, 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 six, Good, five more, 11. 
Now we're just gonna add some arms. Up, down, up, down. I don't care what arms you use, just gonna move it a little. One more. March, recover. Good. All right, other foot up. For me, it's my left foot. And we go. Up, over, up, back. Up, over. Yes. One more. Now add some arms. Woo. Great exercise for those knees. Or if you have trouble getting down steps, this is a good one to do. And one more. And march in place. All right. We're going to use your chair. You stand to the side of your chair. The outer leg is what we're going to work. It's a pendulum forward and back. Forward. What we're trying not to do is let the foot hit the ground. Up, back. Up, hinging right at the hip. Up, your weight and a little march now if you need your heart rate down you would eliminate the march you could do this standing or sitting sitting at any time we're gonna do one arm overhead here we go yes Y'all are looking really great. You're working really hard, keep it up. That's one set, just three more sets. Lift it up. Yes. That was two sets. This is your third set. Up, nothing fancy, just up overhead. Palms are in. My life would never be the same. Yes. And that was three sets. Here's your last one. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job. We're going to actually sit down a little bit. Your chair is near you. And you're gonna need your band. Two exercises with your band in a seated position. We're gonna first work your upper back, they're called rows. 
The band goes over your feet. They wrap around your feet. That way it doesn't pop off and give you a little surprise hello in the face. Now, what's the other key? The other key is not to slouch. I want you up, great posture. Palms in, just like you're starting a lawnmower, you're gonna squeeze it back. Good. Squeeze in the shoulder blade. Tiny break. Now we're going to do both arms. All right. Here we go. Ten. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Two. Three. And you're breathing, right? Ins and outs. Exhale on the exertion if you can think about it. That's the hard part of an exercise. So it would be exhale. Inhale. And one more. A little rest. That's why I always count on the exertion. If I'm counting, I'm exhaling. Okay. Same exercise, we want to turn our hands over. So now we're getting a little bit more shoulder. Specifically, the posterior deltoid, that's the back of the shoulder. Yes. Fifteen. Five more. Two more. Little rest. Good. For those of you who want to use both hands, we're going to do it right now, or you can stay at singles. Ready? Go. Whew. That's it. Maybe we're in a canoe going back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. One more. Beautiful work. Relax. Rest those arms. We're going to get a good stretch at the end of the class. Right now, we're still working. Feet are inside, underneath, uh, excuse me, on top of the band. Band is underneath. We're gonna be standing up and sitting down, okay? If this it makes you nervous, standing and sitting, just put it aside. We're giving ourselves resistance standing, so our legs work and our arms work. Arms at 90 degrees. You look like you've done these before, huh? Okay. So we come up slowly, our arms really don't move. How we do, okay? So you can feel it stretching, right? And it's working those biceps. Four. How about 10 of them? Six. Seven, beautiful. Eight. Nine. And as we come up, we'll stay up. Good. And relax, don't let the band pop you. Step out of them slowly. We need the bench again, bench again. This time we're going to the side. I want to leave room for my other foot so it's kind of on the side. We're going to be tapping up first for eight. Up and down. Six, seven, 
Actually, let's do two more. Make it ten. Nine. Ten. Now rest. Rest. Now we're going to do a knee lift for ten. Here we go. One. Two. You can add arms. Good. Now an outer thigh. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. And rest. Last one, a hamstring. Are you all tired? <laughs> Back. And it's done. Back. Woo. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And rest. Good job. Woo! Shake it out. You know what comes next, though, right? Switch. Leave her in for your foot. Tap it up first. Ten each. One more. Rest. Good. Now a knee lift. It's up. Up. Four. One more, and rest. Now an outer thigh. Up, up. Any arms you like. One more, and rest. Now a hamstring, this is it. Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and really relax right off that bench. Okay, grab your weights. Palms down, alternating forward raises. Ready? It's a one. That's it. We're gonna keep them singles so we don't ache that back any. Two more. Actually, one more. Get you evened out. And good. Now, to go all the way up, we need to pull our palms in. And now we can go higher. So we'll do this for 15. Three. Four. Five. Six. for the posture too. Five more. Two more. And rest. Great job. Let's take it back to your chair. A few more exercises. We'll stay seated there. your chair, cross your arms, and lean back. So this might be harder at home if you have a squishy chair. 
These are real firm and easy to get up and down. It's a good idea to practice with different chairs. Elbows to knees. Just working the abdominals. Help us getting out of bed in the morning. Eight. One more. Great. All right. We're sitting up tall, hands behind the head. This will be our last exercise. We're going to do some oblique work for the sides of our abs. We turn, same side. Good. Really turn that shoulder, not just the head. Six, seven. Two more. And ten. Good. Drop your arms down. Inhale. Good. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And that concludes the cardiovascular strength training portion. Great job. We're going to move right into some stretching. Okay, we are going to stretch for the next five minutes. We want to get those muscles nice and loose. Keep yourself limber. So we're going to start by just inhaling. And as we exhale through our mouths, we want to really exhale as much as we can. Maybe even a little extra at the end. That little extra at the end, you might Feel in your abdominals, and that's good. And exhale. Good. And I challenge you to keep a nice posture through the stretch. If it needs a break, you would just scoot back and relax. And we'll get there. So we'll start with an arm across the chest and hold it. Next, we're going to bend the elbow so that your hand's on your back and give it an extra push. Yes. Through the stretching, we're inhaling and exhaling, we're trying to get the heart rate down. Good. And we're going to switch. Other arm across your chest. Good. And then we're going to bend, hand down here, give it a little extra pull. Some of you might be feeling this sit, sitting posture in your lower back. It says muscles working hard to keep you up. And it's an exercise in itself. So anytime you can sit on the edge of your chair, do it. It's great for your posture and your low back. Good. And then we're going to put one hand on this little chair if you have any room and just kind of reach over. Anything you can feel a little bit of stretch on the side of your torso. As you come up, I'd like your hand to stop on your head and give it a little pull and you may extend your arm out. And then drop it and exhale. Lean over, other side. As you come up, the hand's gonna drop on that head, tilting the neck, stretching the neck muscles. Good. And then hands together, 
It's called a prayer stretch, and we're stretching the wrist and underneath the arms. And a reverse prayer stretch, we just turn them in. And we can't neglect even the fingers. Oh, how we use them every day. So you actually want to stretch those too. And the rest. Good. Now we're going to give your back a break. If you haven't already, we're going to scoot back and relax. Hands are going to come behind you or your chair. Hold the hands and pull the shoulder blades together. And I'm just opening the chest up. And all that feels good. We're gonna go move to the lower body. So what we're gonna do is grab a leg, kinda of have to scooch around a little bit for that. Give it a good hug and you're gonna roll your ankle. We're trying to stretch the glutes and the hips, or low back and glutes rather. And you can go both directions, whatever feels good. Yes. And we'll just switch to the other leg. Grab it, give it a good hug, and roll the ankle. Heart rate should feel like it's back down. Breathing should be normal. We're gonna bend the knee. You're gonna push a little bit on the knee. And lean forward if you need that extra stretch. You should feel this in your hip joint. Great, and switch. Ideally, you should hold your stretches for about at least 30 seconds. And lean forward. And last stretch is for your hamstrings. We'll switch back to the other foot. I'd like for your toes to be facing the ceiling, your knees to be straight, and if you're gonna lean over, make sure you lean with a straight back, not a curled back. You'll feel the difference. For me, I only need to go about that much, and then I feel a nice, huge pull. It's all in your pelvis. And then we'll come out of that stretch. We'll switch it out. Really flexing the foot because we want to get the calf muscles at the same time. Lean over till you feel a pull. And then we're going to come up. We're just going to give you a couple deep breaths and we'll conclude this class. It's just an inhale and an exhale through your mouth. You smell the cake and blow out the candles. And one more for good measure in and exhale. And that concludes your class. Great job. Okay, we are 